Two bomb threats prompted evacuations in the southeast Oklahoma town of Idabel just days after generating nationwide attention. The controversy involves an audio recording appearing to show McCurtain County officials discussing racist views and wanting to kill local newspaper reporters. The threats targeted the county courthouse and the community hospital. Two News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani joins us live now from McCurtain Community Memorial Hospital with the very latest. And Samson, I understand that you spoke with the mayor just a little bit ago. Yeah, Karen, good evening. That's right. We have heard, learned that both of these threats made over the phone earlier today were reportedly not credible. Mayor Craig Young telling me at his home earlier tonight that this had really already been the toughest week of his career. That is until today when it was made worse when he was informed of not one but two bomb threat phone calls made in, in his small city at, on the same day. It's hard on our city because I... Our courthouse is in, in Idabel. We are the county seat. And it's hard on our city, very hard on our city. And when you stop and think about uh, the idea of this going on, it still reflects back to Idabel. And it would be bad if it was in our state anywhere. This is just terrible. He says in both cases, Idabel City Police, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Choctaw Tribal Police, and FBI immediately began investigating the threats. The mayor adds that because one of the county commissioners involved in the ongoing controversy served in McCurtain Memorial Hospital's leadership, the person making the threat said they would detonate a bomb if the hospital didn't cut ties with them and call for their resignation. This caused the hospital to immediately order all critical care patients to be airlifted to other hospitals and as a precaution, evacuate the hospital as a whole. But he says with both the courthouse and the hospital, no signs of any bombs were found and no bomb squad had to be called in. Despite that good news, he says the threats themselves bring pain to his community and has this message for whoever's responsible. If I could talk to that person today who made that, I would say, look, we have enough stuff going on in our county right now. Let's stop. We need to put a stop to it. We need to start a process of moving forward. And the longer it linger, the more stuff to come up, the slower the healing process will be. And the mayor adds that that healing process cannot even begin until the commissioners and county sheriff involved in that recording resign from their positions, just as so many of them, including the governor, have called to do. Live in McCurtain County tonight, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.